process for tonight, uh, the teams are going to have a very quick opportunity to present their idea and concept. Obviously we've seen it in the videos, but it's another thing to actually see it in the real. So the mentors have the opportunity to see them, but only for a brief moment. So it'll be get in and get out. So obviously the teams are going to be very nervous and we're nervous for them because you know it's a big opportunity for them to be in front of so many people. They're not aware of the amount of people that are actually going to be in the room. They, they think there's about eight but there's actually going to be 30. Really? They, they don't know they're going to be 30 people? They don't know. Have you guys done this before? No. Matt? No. Pitching? pitching? No. no. This no. is our first time. Yeah. We've seen, we've, we've seen pictures before but we've never actually given one so a bit of fun. <laughs> yeah. Good luck, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think this boy's gonna be in shit. But yeah, anyway. no, Tonight is a lot of fun for us, and not necessarily for the startups. Um, so this is the second stage in the selection process. The first was we had the online via form with the video, and then now we've got the pitch night, which means the startups come and they pitch to a room full of our mentors for three minutes. Uh, there's no Q and A. No videos allowed, they literally they walk into the room, stone cold faces, they give their pitch, their slides are waiting for them and then they walk out again. And those who are successful progress to a selection interview next week where they get 15 minutes of the selection panel. Uh, but for those who don't progress, it's all over for this year. Three minutes is still pretty tight, one minute is really, really tight. Uh, I've done talks before but usually, you know, if you have 20 minutes, you can go on and on and it's not a problem. But three minutes is, you know, you have to be punchy. So. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Well, it'll be good. It will be good. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Cool. You guys prepare well? No, not really. Good. <laughs> but we, we will by the time we're done. <laughs> you will by the time yeah. you're done? Yes. <laughs> okay. Alright. Get ready for it, boys. Thank you. Nervous? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's a pretty intense looking room of people just kind of like staring you down like this or with a pen, you know. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, I'm excited, man. I'm excited more than anything. So what I'm really not looking forward to seeing tonight is a team that gets up there they freeze, they can't articulate their idea, and that it jeopardizes their opportunity to move forward. We would like to achieve our profitability point much faster. Um, you can... Ah, How did that go? Um, uh, it was much better when I was doing it in the mirror, <laughs> but um, I think I, I said the main things that I needed to say. I got cut off a little earlier um, and stumbled through a couple of areas and I kept forgetting to click the PowerPoint. Uh, I think it was just pure nerves. Like I've I'd, I'd heard this presentation, I've done a few pictures before, but um, I mean the people in that room got some very senior people, um, particularly in the startup community, and it's just like I was expecting, you know, the five or six people that were on the math advisory board. I wasn't expecting a room full of 50 people, um, and it was it was the first time I'd done anything like that. Um, just got up there, and I, I was really shaky for the first three or four slides. And they kind of took me like I had like when I time my presentation, I had 16 seconds per slide to get through them, and those first three slides I probably took 25 seconds, which is not a lot of time, but you know. It's, it's way more than I could afford to say, and you know, I guess it just ended up costing me. If they can't handle walking into a room and seeing 30 entrepreneurs who are there waiting to, waiting to judge their pitch, then they're not going to make it as an entrepreneur. These things are just par for the course. Yes, there is a major competitor in the UK, and to us that's really good because it proves it's a problem people want solved. In terms of the business model, we expect to generate income from both the patient side as well as the clinician side. 
What we expect is that we'll be able to sell our sensors directly to the patient or on a rental basis to the clinicians. Entrepreneurship's a little bit lonely, like by yourself, you know what I mean? Um, so it'd be really cool to sort of meet all the other guys doing similar stuff um, and to sort of like, you know, get to talk to the dudes in that room who really know their shit. Like, that's gonna be amazing, more than anything, really. Because it is pretty hard to just, you know, you can cold email people, but like, you can have amazing copywriting skills to sort of pull that off to like, you know, catch up with them. So, um, yeah, that's probably the best thing about this, I reckon. We should also acknowledge the fact that it is quite tough to make it to this stage in the selection process. A lot of people apply to get into the Startup Accelerator, very few make the first couple of cuts. So just by the mere fact that we have these people pitching their startups in the room, that's a fair accomplishment. To get into MAP, um, it meant a lot for me. I mean, the, the funding is obviously fantastic, but I think it's more than networking. Um, I'm in inexperienced, like I'm a solo founder. This is kind of the first startup that I've been involved in. Um, so I haven't got a lot of experience and I really value the mentors and all that sort of thing that you can get through that um, with all the experience and everything. Um, and also the opportunity to meet people who potentially you know, come on board with the company, um, become co-founders and people I can kind of spread the load with a bit. The second round of the selection process is pitch night, where we invite the startups to come and pitch to a room full of our mentors. Our mentors will then go ahead and assess those startups and we'll collate their feedback to determine who should be given the opportunity to have a selection interview, which is the final stage of our selection process. We give them a five, you put five in there, it goes red. Four, two, three, two, four, four. Which gives us the top 20 being Brosa, Pathogen, Algae Life. Quanti Care Technologies, Child Care Spot, X Labs, Scan 3D or Scanned, Maintainly, iTour, Stitch MD. And just a short word, if I may, to those people who've applied to be part of the 2014 Melbourne Accelerator Program. This is a wonderful program, but it's made so by people like you, by the people who've got the passion and the determination, the courage and the initiative to apply. So thank you for being part of the round. I very much hope you're successful, but whether you are or not, I hope you see this as a great learning experience, a way to develop your skills, a way to commit to innovation and to be part either of this program or a future one, because we need people like you. Today, uh, we actually brought a real sofa that we actually made. Wedge on it, yeah. Prototype. Uh, yeah. You know, you're not a startup until you carry a couch. <laughs> it's been an intense three months, and we are incredibly pleased to have finally come to the end of the selection process. So, how do you guys think uh, Tuesday went? It wasn't as optimal as we'd hoped. Oh, so we hit a slight hiccup and. Um, they keep asking and I was like, look, we'll just see what happens, it is what it is, and just be patient and... and Sorry to keep you waiting. Um, but, uh, straight to the chase. Yep. Um,